Welcome to the beautiful palace of fine arts. Set in an idyllic park, the palace has a rich history and is today an important part of San Francisco's image. The palace was originally built for the Panama Pacific International Exhibition, which was held in San Francisco in the year 1915. The purpose of the exhibition was partly to celebrate the completion of the Panama Canal as well as the city's recovery from the 1906 earthquake and fires. The expo lasted for almost 300 days and the exhibition buildings extended about a mile along the shore. The buildings consisted of 11 exhibition palaces showcasing objects from all the corners of the world. Just like many other exhibition projects, the majority of these buildings were not meant to last, but to be dismantled after the exhibit had ended. The Palace of Fine Art was one of them, together with two other buildings. This palace was widely considered the most beautiful structure and the star attraction of the exhibition. The original plan was to keep using the palace through continuing art exhibitions, even after the exhibition closure. However, maintenance costs proved to be too high and the funding for its use fell short. As a result, the love building was covered up and the area was used for other purposes. Lighted tennis courts were placed on the site in the early 30s. Later, during the Second World War, the area served as a motor pool of jeeps and other army vehicles. After the war had ended, the army returned the buildings to the city. From this point, the palace suffered steady decay. In the early 50s, the palace hosted a few art exhibitions and served partly as a storehouse, but it was to a large extent abandoned. The building and the surrounding grounds were declared unsafe for public use a couple of years later, due to the lack of maintenance. Both the local government, as well as the San Francisco citizens, realized that a palace of fine arts in decay was a big loss to the whole city. In order to save the palace, a major restoration project needed to be carried out. A newly created Palace of Fine Arts Committee, together with private donors, made it happen. Together with some state money, they invested several million dollars into the restorations of the palace. This resulted in the demolition and reconstruction of the palace in 1964. One of the largest donors was Walter Johnson. After his death, he was called the patron who rebuilt the Palace of Fine Arts, as he alone donated more than $4.5 million into the project. The palace was fully restored in the 1970s and thus brought back to its former glory. The Palace of Fine Arts was designed by Bernard R. Maybach, he chose to theme the palace around Roman ruins with the intention of showing the mortality of grandeur and the vanity of human wishes. The many beautiful pillars and columns also clearly show that he was inspired by ancient Greek architecture. The lagoons surrounding the rotunda and the colonnades added to its beauty. There has been some minor restoration projects since the large one initiated in the 1960s. These projects have included restoring the interior of the dome and the surrounding walkways. It is now also possible to illuminate the palace at night. Today, the Palace of Fine Arts is host to both a theatre and a science museum. It is also a reminder of a great exhibition of 1915 which welcomed the world back to San Francisco. It has served as a backdrop for several movies and has become one of San Francisco's most beloved landmarks. <laughs>